to you my viewer it is Sharon Wabaraka and I am back on Real Talks. Today I actually want to make a statement that is the reason why I am here because I have been asked a question and I want to address that question publicly. I have been asked why I call myself Wabaraka and there is an assumption that Baraka is either my son or I am affiliated or associated with somebody called Baraka. And I just want to make it clear that Baraka is neither my son nor am I associated with somebody called Baraka. Baraka means blessing and it is a name that I was given by God when he changed my story. I was going through a very rough patch of my life at one point like most people do. So, and that was not an exception case for myself and when I was going through that process I never used to understand why I was going through that and I, I was really down I was really depressed about it and when I called my parents they were very supportive and they used to remind me so many times that you are a child of blessing don't worry everything is going to be okay and they repeated it so many times such that I started reflecting back on my life and I actually started seeing that the blessings that God had blessed me with were more than that simple problem that the devil was magnifying to make it look like a mountain. But this is what the enemy does. He picks a small problem and he magnifies it so that he can suppress you and out of that you end up becoming so depressed you feel so unloved, you feel so unwanted, you feel so unworthy and you isolate yourself completely because you don't feel worthy at all. And when I started reflecting back and I started counting the blessings that God had blessed me one by one, they surpassed that one simple problem that I was going through. And that was when I came to the realization that actually I need to stop mourning and start being happy that I am so blessed. And out of that, Wabaraka was born. So I unapologetically call myself very proudly so Wabaraka because I am blessed. Let me tell you something. People will talk about you. They will give stories about you so negatively that even when you hear about them yourself, you'll be like, hey, really? Because they are so shocking. They are talking about you. They know A to Z about you. You'd think they live in the same house with you for how they are describing and explaining to people. You find somebody has sat other people down to give them stories about you. And yet they have nothing, no knowledge about what they are talking about. But it is so believable. What they are saying, it is so believable that even you yourself will be left shocked. If you're that kind of person, let me caution you. Because you will not go far in life. People who are like that, they go round and round and round in the same place. God does not bless smokers. He hates smokers. And let me tell you something else. The Bible says, Touch not my anointed, and do my prophets no harm. If God has chosen to use somebody, God will deal with that person if they go out of his will. It is not for you to go and start speaking about negative things about that person and justifying how they shouldn't even be doing what they are doing. Are you the one who called them? God himself called that person and God himself knows how he's going to equip that, to equip that person. My brother, my sister, you're bringing a curse upon yourself. If you keep speaking about those God has chosen, you're bringing yourself a curse upon your life and you better repent. So anyway, you know, it is very sad. The other day, um, someone was telling me how the, 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 they had someone being described. And it was very shocking. And you know, I say to this person, if someone comes and tells you a negative thing that you don't even know, don't even entertain it. Because you are making yourself a devil's advocate by listening, sitting and listening to information that is, is of no use. It's not going to take you anywhere. 
that somebody asks you, oh, do you know uh, Wabaraka? Ah, any? Mutumi ore mati gani ana mudhuri wake? Another one goes like, ah, mutumi osho na wa monare. Nego yetu wetu waga, obo thigu wahana. Ne show off. You. Let me tell you. The wrath of God is going to be upon you. If you're that kind of person, the wrath of God is going to be upon you. Leave the servants of God alone. Anyway, I just wanted to make uh, that statement to say that my name Wabaraka is a name that God gave me and I unapologetically call myself Wabaraka because I am indeed very, very blessed. Nasiku Jigamba Nimebarikiwa. Baraka.